welcome. This is a kitchen cook camping overnight fishing trip. I'm not doing this alone as you can see. I have Travis here with me. I also have Grazy here. Travis, why don't you go ahead and tell everybody a little bit about yourself and how you came to meet me. Sure. And what got you right here in the river? <laughs> My name is Travis. I'm from Tempe, Arizona. And I frequently visit uh, YouTube sites such as David's. Uh, just learning how to fish, uh, learning to be outdoors. I took a unique interest in David's for his personality, the way he films, the areas he encounters, and the fish he looks for. Also his dog, big plus. Um, I ventured out, reached out to him for a comment. And it only took about a month, and we set things up to come here in my home state. Okay, great. All right, this is going to be an eight night, nine day adventure, and we're so glad to have you along. Looks like a wolf or a coyote, one of the two. Oh, Travis, this looks like a good place for a tent. What okay. do you think? Where okay. are you going to put your tent? I like this area right here. Okay. This is the dining experience for this trip. The breakfast, we got some granola and blueberries, biscuits and gravy, strawberry and granola, and breakfast skillet. Uncured bacon jerky, that's really good. Got my coffee and my sweetener for it. Dinners, we got some mac and cheese, beef stroganoff, spaghetti, chicken and rice, green beans and corn. And then for the fish, I've got the ghee, avocado oil, and olive oil, and then my mixes for the fish and then a couple mashed potatoes. Got miscellaneous drinks, Propel and True Lemon and Black Cherry. Ice cream sandwich and some dark chocolate cheesecake for dessert. I got some coconut chocolate chip cliff bars. I got a payday, a praline pecans, Jolly Ranchers, black Twizzlers, dried cherries, bananas, some pistachios. This is the end of day number one. How was it? Just crossing the river was, it was surreal and just, I'm just sitting there crossing my fingers that I'm not gonna go take a drink. What do you think of the place that we're in? Well, see, this is why I chose. Because I've been here and I know the vibe that you get is, is unlike anywhere else. Have we seen anybody today? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, this place is isolated. Well, I think that pretty well does it, doesn't it? It does. Good night. Good night. Good morning. Today's the beginning of our second day. Yeah, so how was uh, your night in the tent? I might have to move my bed. It's a little rocky. I got, I found rocks. Please so what do you think of this campsite? Well, I like it. Can it get any better than this one? A lot of spaces between trees and uh, the flattest land I've seen on the hike. Yeah. Well, we're just going to enjoy the fire for a little bit and then put our camp together and then go fishing. On a brown trout, maps. Beautiful. That is, that's got to be an Apache rainbow. That's a cross, that's a beauty. It's got all those dots on it. My gosh, that's pretty. Another 
beautiful rainbow on the brown trout spinner maps. Beautiful filet. It'll make for a nice fish catching cook meal. It had in its belly this little centipede, kind of like a, looks like an earwig. And then it had all these little bugs that kind of look like potato bugs. We're back from fishing. How many fish do you catch? Well, I got three bites. Okay. One was real tiny. Uh huh. One was about 10 inches. Uh huh. And the other one, I couldn't really tell. I just felt it. Uh huh. On my first cast, I was using a, um, a caddy with a salmon egg on top and a cast master on my second. Well, I caught three, I landed two, both rainbows. I filleted the two and we're gonna have those for dinner. I did catch a, I think it was probably about a 14 inch brown and it got off. That's gonna be my fish story for this oh. trip. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw the coolest ducks I've ever seen in my life. Uh huh. All snowy white on the bottom black head, red ring, and a little curl. Oh, that's cool. All right, we're gonna get our dinner. We'll puddle fry these fish and cut these in half. Gonna be puddle frying them in flour, panko breadcrumbs, base seasoning, paprika, salt and pepper, and Zatarain's blackening. Putting the fish in the dredge, and I'm putting in avocado oil. With avocado oil, we can cook the fish at a higher temperature. Now we're putting clarified butter, also known as ghee. The oil is smoking, that means it's ready. There's a filet with the dredge on it. Do two at a time. Okay, the fish is ready. How's that look, Travis? Looks like the ones in the movies. <laughs> it's like biting into a steak first, and then you get the fish, which is something I've never had. <laughs> These are amazing. You got more? Okay, you're mine. That looks so good. Ooh wee. I don't know how much I miss this until I have it again. All right, long John Silver, I'm ready for doubles. Thank you. I like the color of this one. Even though we only caught two, I'm gonna hog some of his food because it was way too tasty not to pass up a second dose. Mm. Now that's like a Taste your chicken nugget with fish. <laughs> I like that. I didn't think I'd like fish as much as I with this. I'm not a I'm not like a fish stick fan, but when you bake it like this or fry it, I could eat this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Well, this is the end of day number two. I think it was a great day. We caught fish, we <laughs> ate fish. Oh, the fish were just sensational. And even though I didn't catch any fish, I found my water bottle. <laughs> I went back down to where I crossed the river and I heard it tinking on some rocks and I found it. And that was the highlight of my day. <laughs> Besides the fish. Gracie had a good day. She just followed us around. Yeah, and now I'm getting firewood ready for the morning so we don't have to do that cold. Right. Yeah. Okay, well, we're gonna say good night. Good night, people. Good morning. It's the beginning of day number three. Travis, tell us what's going to happen today. Well, today I'm going back to my vehicle to head home. David's going to continue down river. Any thoughts on the trip? My two favorite things on this trip. One, the realization of what David goes through that people don't see on camera. Two, is the beauty of this place is far more than I thought when you go outside the normal camp zones. I made the comment this morning that 
maybe he was the last one here from his last trip because nobody you don't hear anybody you don't see anybody um, it's just so unique and uh, I just can't wait to start taking my my family around here I had to venture out and this was the best person I knew <laughs> to, to ask but I'll tell you what this guy can hike <laughs> and uh, he's got some years on me and I'm just floored okay well it's been good to have you with me thanks David you bet See you later, Travis. Happy trails. Now I'm solo backpacking with my dog, Gracie. fire pit. I think this would be a good place to camp. We'll put our tent there or maybe over there. We're gonna get our camp set up. We're exhausted. Once the tent's up and the sun's behind the mountain, Freaky likes to go in the tent. Well, this is the end of day number three. Gorgeous fishing hole right here. I'm gonna fish this tomorrow. If I don't catch something out of here, something must be wrong with me. Great hike today, wow, what scenery. This, this place just never ceases to amaze me. Gorgeous river, gorgeous mountains, gorgeous trees, gorgeous grass in between the trees. It's just incredible. Well, we had our dinner, Gracie and I, and she's already in the tent sleeping. I put the food up the tree in the bear bags, so we're all good to go. I'm going to call it a night. Good morning, beginning of the fourth day. This is the first time that I've ever slept so close to this river. There is a lot of life that depends on this and comes and goes, and it was quite active last night, and it made it very difficult for me to get a restful sleep because I was always hearing things. 
we heard something really big going through the water just making all kinds of racket it sounded like a big elk to me today's plan is to catch a fish cook it and eat it and then we're going to move our camp somewhere else so i can get a better night's sleep Got one. On a MEPS brown trout spinner. This is the spot last night I'd said that I should catch something at, or something was wrong with me. Well, I guess nothing's wrong with me because I've already caught one out of here. I just saw another one cruising the shoreline. Right? Let's try for another one. Real pretty rainbow. Caught it on a MEPS brown trout spinner. That's got to be about 11 inches. Pretty fish. Caught on a Jake spinner. What I'm fishing with now is a strike indicator and I'm about three and a half feet down, little tiny snell hook and a mill worm. Brown trout and a mill worm. Beautiful. Look at those red dots on that. Pretty fish. God, that's pretty. Beautiful colors. Jake Spinner. Pretty little rainbow. About eight inches. God, that's pretty. That is a pretty one. I'll make for a very nice fishing kitchen cook for the day. This fillet knife is wonderful. Shout out to Kyle Polson who gifted me this. This thing has so much flex, it's unbelievable. It even had my name engraved on it. Nice filet. That'll taste yummy. Fishing report for today was it was really good. In about 300 yards up and down this river, I caught five trout, one brown and four rainbow. So I'm really looking forward to eating some brown and rainbow trout. Interesting situation. I have misplaced my spork, so I do not have a spoon or fork. I'm going to carve me up with my little Swiss Army knife some chopsticks. I'm going to go with some willows that I got over by the river because they're green and flexible. I've just trimmed the willow down to about 10 inches and then I'm going to just create a rectangle with the end. This is what one looks like, all finished. Rectangle and then I made a little tip on the end so I can stab my fish and get them out of the jet boil. So here's the finished product with my Swiss Army knife. Survival in the woods chopsticks. This is olive oil and my traditional key. These are my chopsticks. I'm cooking the fish in two different dredges. The first one is the panko breadcrumbs and the zataran seasoning. And then the next ones I'm going to do in flour and zataran seasoning only. Now it's time to check out the chopsticks, see how they work. Ha! Huh, they work great! <laughs> Doesn't that look delish? They look real spicy. These are the zatarans and the flour only. So we're done. Very good. This is the Zatarans and the Panko. Very good. This is the Zatarans 
and the flower only. I'm going to call it a tie. They taste equally as good. Excellent. Had a wonderful day. Caught fish, cooked fish, and ate fish. Got to hang out with Gracie, my favorite dog. As you can see, she's in the tent already, ready to go to sleep. And she's wondering why I'm not in there. <laughs> yeah. As you can see, we've changed campsites. The other campsite was just over here, about 100 yards, but it was down. So we climbed up about 100 feet, and I was like straight up to get up on this little plateau here. And this is the only flat spot that I could find where I wasn't in danger of a tree coming down on me if it, one came down. I believe we're the only ones within five miles. I haven't heard anybody, I haven't seen anybody all day. What an isolated place. It's cool. Well, that's it. Good night. Good morning, it's the beginning of the fifth day. What we're gonna to do today is go down river and fish all day. Before I go fishing, I'm gonna have some breakfast. I'm gonna eat my breakfast with my chopsticks. It's granola and strawberries. That'll work. Rainbow. Got it on the spinner Jake. It's gold. Beautiful brown. Probably about 14 inches, I'd say. Rainbow. back from fishing. Caught five fish today, two browns, three rainbows. Smallest was 10 inches, largest was 16 inches. Great day fishing, absolutely gorgeous water, gorgeous scenery. This is the coolest place. I kept one fish, it's time to cook it. Cutting them in half. Today's dredge is flour, bay seasoning, paprika, salt and pepper. So the fish in the dredge. So all the fish is in the dredge, okay. Olive oil and ghee is in there. Oil is smoking. There's a filet. They are floating. That means you're done. Wow, oh, doesn't that look good? Put a little salt on them. Hmm. This is a lot meatier fish than the last four that I've had. Bay seasoning and paprika really make it spicy too. It's amazing that I can have this three nights in a row and I'm totally fine with that. <laughs> Greasy's knocking at the tent door wanting to go in because the sun's gone behind the mountain. As you can see behind me the sun's not completely down. We got the food up in the tree. That's essential especially here in bear country. I haven't seen any signs of bear though but I know they're here. I thought it was an awesome day, awesome fishing, beautiful weather. My goodness, this is gorgeous weather. I'm going to say good night.
Good morning. Today's the beginning of day number six. Gracie and I are going to be doing some backpack hiking and see if we can find ourselves a new wilderness camping spot. just crossed the river and I believe our camping spot is going to be up here and you can't really see it but you can kind of maybe see here it's really steep going up. Instead of going up there setting up camp and then having to come back down here and get water I've gone ahead and filled up the 10 liter bag with 8 liters of water. It's about 8 pounds of water and I attached it to my pack. Oh Gracie it's like a nice place for our tent right here. Look at this glorious forest. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. The river is just right over here. We get water from down over there. Can't access the river from over here. That's all cliffs. We're gonna make this our camp. Something that I learned about Travis while he was with me is he loves Mountain House spaghetti meat sauce. So this is a tribute to him, that's what I'm having tonight. There's a bit too much in one package of it, so I split it in half. And so I eat it out of the tinfoil package the first time, and I put half of it in a hefty freezer bag. So I've already put the water in the spaghetti, and so what I do is I just mixed it up, and then I put it in the jet boil, keep it nice and toasty, and let it hydrate. I usually eat my spaghetti right out of this, but because I'm using chopsticks, I'm gonna put it in my cup. As you can see what it looks like. Salute. Travis. Mmm. Not to say that's really good. Mmm. Nothing like spaghetti out in the back country. I have to say these chopsticks work pretty good.
This is the end of day number six. I absolutely love being in the mountains. This place is so awesome. Wow. It was good that Gracie and I explore and find this place. Because this place is probably one of the best places on this river. Well, that's everything for this evening. Good night. Good morning. Today's the beginning of the seventh day, and today I'm going to try to catch some big brown trout. Beautiful rainbow. Broken back Rapala. Nice healthy bow on a mealworm. We'll be cooking that and eating that today. First smallmouth bass out of here on this trip. Fishing report. Caught five fish, four rainbow trout. One of the rainbow trout looked like a Kern River rainbow out of the Sierra Nevada mountain range. Fascinating, beautiful red line on the side and then had dark grayish brown ovals on the side. And I caught one smallmouth bass. And I actually did see two pretty good sized smallmouth bass when I went across the river and then they shot upstream. It's time to start a campfire and cook the one fish that I did keep. I'm use small stuff because I don't want a big fire. Just need to cook my fish and that's it. Find me warm so I don't have to get warm. The fish is in a dredge solely of Zatarans blackening seasoning. Here's the blackened fillets. It's like intensely blackened. Put a little olive oil on them. And some ghee. Ghee is most important. Gives it the most flavor. Four sheets of aluminum foil. I bring the one leather glove so I can reach in the fire. You can put the fish in the fire. It's time to turn them. If you can hear the sizzle of the fish in the foil. I believe the fish is cooked. A closer look at the fillets. They're blackened. Love that. I think it's my favorite seasoning for any fish. Chopsticks don't work worth the beans on these because of the skin. So I just use my fingers. This is so spicy. Mm. I'm going to say that this fish competes with the first night fish that I had with Travis. Oh, it might beat it. It is just mm, so good. I wish you were here to taste it. Burn the oil off the foil and just take it out. That's the last piece. Now that it's burned off, I go take the foil out. See, all the oil's gone. I'll just pack this foil out. A couple things about today. Uh, first off, this river has incredible fishing holes. They're absolutely stunning from a fisherman's point of view. You think you would just catch fish after fish after fish. But the fish that I've caught, and I open up their belly, and they are stuffed. So they're not really that interested in eating anymore. One thing I really enjoy is Gracie. She crossed the river probably 10 times today and just had a good soul. You can just tell she just wants to guard me and protect me. And it's just so wonderful to have a really devoted companion. Well, that's all I have. Good night. Good morning.
and as you can see we're on the trail I said I was going to be doing an eight night nine day trip well I have seen and fished everywhere that I would like so I'm going to make this a seven night eight day adventures in the wild about wrapped up on this hike. I'm gonna give you a couple thoughts of this adventure. First off, I really enjoyed having Travis along for the first couple days. It's good to get to know him, find out some interesting things about him, and laugh. It was really good to have him along to socialize with Gracie. Gracie's really not a real friendly dog to a bunch of people. She's really friendly to me. Not many other people, you have to really work at it. And Travis was really good at it. Another thing I really liked about this trip was I got into some backcountry that I'd never been into before. I was able to fish some waters of the river that I'd never been in. These fishing holes just suck you in. They are just so gorgeous. And you'll be fishing them for a half hour and you're not getting anything out of the hole. But you just won't quit because it's so gorgeous and you just know there's a fish in there. Another half hour goes by and you haven't even moved. <laughs> The catching and the cooking of the fish, absolutely delicious. I've got some of the best dredges and zatarans as a great component. And I can't end this trip without saying how much I love and appreciate Gracie, my Border Collie. She will just do whatever I ask. It's absolutely amazing. I asked her to go across the river without me, and she did it. We're all wrapped up here. So, until next time. <laughs>